Hello one and hello all. Welcome back, you've come to Game Station Tokyo. My name is Tokyo Blue. Today, you've come back to see The Walking Dead. <laughs> we are in season one. This is episode one, part five. Uh, I realized that I've been kind of using part and episode interchangeably and that could have been a little confusing. So again, season one, episode one, part five. This is the last part of episode one. When we finish this part, we move on to episode two, part one. So guys, thanks for coming on back. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. Show me some likes. Comments are always welcome. So let's get this game started. Hmm, key's behind the counter, he said earlier, so I need to get behind the counter. Can't get it on my way. I wonder if they're gonna say the same dialogue as before. Hey guys. If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest oh, for a bit. Alright, they are. You know that the asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. Before you got it. Alright, I don't wanna talk to you, kid. Behind the counter. Greeting cards we know. A helicopter. I heard a helicopter. Anything back here? Can I walk back here? Oh, we've seen these pictures. My more successful brother. They liked him better. Uh, hey, Doug, you see any keys? Uh, Carla, right? It's Carla, is it? I'm in a newspaper. We did. Carly, not Carla. Sorry. Look at his eyes. He's like, I know you. Talk to her. That was quite brave of you out there. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm sad. Can't you tell by my face? You're really fine. All of your colleagues are probably dead. You don't think I know that? <laughs> of course I'm not <laughs> fucking fine. God, leave. Just leave me alone. How do you keep pushing the point? Okay, okay, jeez. Well, what's that over there? No, I don't want to talk. Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio? That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. You're an idiot. That's what you are, Lee. What's that? What is that? Is that her? That's her dot? Check that. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Except these keys. Where are the keys? Come on. Glenn, you know where the keys are? Oh, you're just upset because you don't have a girlfriend. Your TV show counterpart had a girlfriend and you don't. Here's our counter, I guess. Can I walk over here? Did I miss anything? Oh, I can walk, oh, I can walk over here. Uh, where the heck are these keys? Watch this with the kid. Hey, I found these keys over here on the floor, but I'm just going to throw them out the window. There was a brick outside. I was talking to Doug. Anything there? Nothing. The keys are probably in the office then. I'm gonna talk to her and have the same conversation. Hey. Oh, regard. 
I'm gonna get back to him. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Alright, nothing left to say, huh? After we got gasoline and I brought a pillow back for you. Over here, over here, anything over here? The I Dream of Genie bottles? Dental needs? Nothing, nothing. I guess we'll go back into that office. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Someone wrote all over my face with a sharpie, but I'm okay. What's your story, Glenn? I deliver pizzas around here. I brought a couple to the Everts a few times. Sorry, I mean the folks that own this place. Just really good people. It sucks seeing this place like this. Isn't that the truth? Say, by the way, Glenn, how come you look so tired looking? What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Back the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess, but that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. I guess you really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? People can't be given up. That's this right. will pass. I'm with you. Dig it out. I'm glad to hear it. Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. Especially when you got a better beard than I do. Mine's just penciled in. <laughs> okay, back into the office. Stay here, Clementine. I'm gonna look for keys. Oh, you can come along if you want. Let's not have the same conversation, though. Uh, okay. Wait a minute. Miss something then. Go back in this draw. Can't go back into the draw. Would you hide the keys in the ceiling? That's what I figured. Mm. Alright, so you see it. First aid kit. Dad told me he bought that TV to watch baseball in here. But I caught him watching his stories more than a few times. His stories? Is that like TV shows? Alright. Um, there's nothing in here. It is, I guess. All right, all right. Yeah. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Save this guy. Save this sarcastic big mouth. Um, nothing here. I'm pretty sure there's nothing here. I dragged you in here, Clementine. Hmm. So if I were gonna hide some keys from players like myself, where would I put it? Oh, in here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Shells. 
I'm at a loss. It's kind of weird, this 2D, 3D stuff. Won't actually let me see what's on this side of the shelf. planning. Check this shelf. Anything? Anything light up at all? That's Carly. That's the newspaper. The newspaper is going to tell me where the keys are in the horoscope section. Keys <laughs> are hidden underneath your shoe. Uh, maybe Doug knows something. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? No, I want to know what the keys are. I mean, maybe they are outside. Let's have a look around. Let's have a look around. Okay. I can have a cigarette while I'm out there. See that brick? I can't reach that brick. I wonder if you use the... Oh, wait. Look at the one trapped over there. That's his brother. My more successful Better. brother. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what? Do you know that guy? No, I have to go to the bathroom. Kind of be has a familiar face. Ah, uh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know? They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, dog. I don't need to hear anymore. Jeez. I didn't even get to eat yet. And you're Look already at the uniform, though. My stomach. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. That's it. Don't it go take get a him. lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that looking at this here, guy's crotch. I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Uh, that place is full of TVs and electronics. Hey, use the remote. Yeah, that's the distraction we're looking for. What about the lock, though? Oh, yeah, use the axe on it. Okay. It's doing what locks do. All right, so there's my plan. What's this? Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. All right, so I have the tools now. All right. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? All right, we know this. Already. I did, but it Why was too risky. Why are we looking at his crotch for? A bunch of guys showed up. Is that the glitch? Tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. All right, we know this. Okay, come on. Just change the volume on uh, the mic. Okay, so I'm gonna turn on some TVs. Gonna hit this with the axe. Then I'm gonna go over there and chop my brother's head off. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Just as long Maybe as she doesn't distract them and buy you okay, some time. Okay, here we go. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? Is throw it. <laughs> he throws it right across the parking lot. It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? Oh, I thought well, this I was my all the codes when I was I thought this was my cell phone. Let's try. Abracadabra. Well, there are no batteries in it. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Okay, come on. Who's to say it already hasn't? Ah, I 
I can watch SpongeBob now. I got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Did you change the channel? Oh, listen, this one. Who <laughs> lives in the pineapple land of the sea? And the brick. I can't reach that oh. brick. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Yeah, what else? What else? What else? Here we go. Gonna make more noise. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, now, now let's let them all in. Those things. Carefully. Uh, how are you gonna distract them? You gotta go out. Here we go. Nice and noisy. It's gonna start rolling the gate open. <sighs> I'm a coward now. Let's throw this at the TV sets and watch you break them all. Um, the fortification? No. No. Here we go. He's just gonna lob it over there. But he never played baseball as a kid. Oh, he missed. <laughs> it's a zombie in the head. Spongebob. Let me turn the channel. Ouch, I cut my hand off on the glass. Now's the time. Let's go stab him all in the head. Uh, he's gonna run. Not walk, but run. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? It's not like they can always lock the door again. He broke it. Mom and Dad always liked you better than me. And now look who's alive. Hey, bud. <laughs> I don't know what happened to Mom and Dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah. I'm going to assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yell a little louder. I got to do this now, man. Yeah. I got to do this. Bye bye. Now remember, I'm not doing this because they liked you better. Ouch. Oh. <laughs> try again. You didn't try hard enough. Oh, man. One more time. Let's go for it. One more time. Oh boy, that's got to be making a lot of noise, though, you figure. Anything? Yeah, one more time. There we go. That was a better shot. That was a brain kill. You see? He's not moving. Hey, bud. Now let me give you a massage on the back. Oh, you stink. There we go. Now I'm the better brother. Ha 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 ha. Holy crap! Run! Oops. <laughs> now you don't have to really run, run. I mean, it's not like they're rushing. They're a zombie rushing, but they're not gonna make it. You broke the lock. Now we're in trouble. We Man, that was close. We only have this balsa wood but to save us. It's all that matters. Now we're warriors. We're part of the same club. We're brothers. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. <laughs> Just like that. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Here we go. Oh, I've hit this thing with that. the axe so many times they won't accept the key now. In we go. Let me just give him something random. Oh no. It's the alarm clock. We gotta hurry. Why? It's not like the police are coming. Oh, somebody's waking me up. Someone missed her head. Look, they went for a headshot, but it got her shoulder. 
Is that his mom? Lee, is that you? You're late for dinner. Lee? Why is it just focused in on her? Doc, come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back! Do it fast! I gotta get my dad like out of here! Like there aren't zombies in the back alley? alley. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. <laughs> he looks you so sad. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. Why Lee, do you think Glenn looks so pitiful? In case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. All right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Kenny is such an action man, Kenny. So what am I doing? Where am I going? What's going on? Uh, I should go over here, right? Yeah. This is cool, huh? We're brothers. We're brothers, warriors. We will make it through this. Doug, if we don't make it through this, I love you. Ouch! Hey, stop getting pushy. I know we got a big sale going on. I should know. Whoops. Are you sure? Shit. Oh shit! Oh. Yeah, just shoot over my head, will you? Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the hands? I got this candy bar. Okay. You want this candy bar? Clementine, did you find anything? <laughs> There's a door stop. I found a door stop and some newspapers. Look at me. I'm a real warrior. I found something. What? Are you my dad's cane? Go get that axe from Kenny. Oh, nice going, dog. Oh, where are we? No cursor? Slow mo. That's it. Lee's superpowers coming out now. Let's save her, she got a gun. Action move, ooh, look at that. She shot him in the mouth. His brain's still intact. Oh, sorry, Doug. Dougaroo. Oh my god. I'm gonna be sick. Let's go! They got Doug. Whoop. They you gotta move! Get that ice pick out of her shoulder. Don't worry, Clementine. I got it. Oh, run, yeah, run. Oh, darn you. What am I reaching for? My eyeball? What am I reaching for? Ouch! I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. Hey, someone drew on your arm too with that Sharpie marker. Bye bye. <laughs> How exciting. This is disgusting. I don't want to wear their clothes. We're gonna have a barn fire. It'll be fun. Roast some marshmallows. Melt some chocolate bars. Here you go, kid. There's his pizza car. More people wasting ammo. Okay, we're on our way. 
You used to drive this, Glenn? You're a brave man, even though you look pathetic. What am I looking at? I guess I can walk around, right? Hey, Glenn. You're pathetic. I think I need to go. To the bathroom? Now? To Atlanta. Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening. Aren't we your friends? When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I got to take my chances. Okay, pizza boy. Let him go. We need that car, though. You're going on foot. I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe. But I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Come on. How could you even like that girl? You, you, you didn't even see her through the door. You're right. I'm going to stay here. Besides, if I go, who's going to make pizzas for you? Hope you got enough gas, Glenn. Well, where's he going? You took all the gas. There goes our last hope, the pizza boy. Uh, I guess I have to talk to Kenny next. Bye, Kenny. You take all your supplies. Hey, Ken. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. You're a team. Thanks, Kenny. Even though you let Doug die. You got it. <laughs> did you check the glove box? Mm, I don't want to talk to you. I guess I'm going this way. No, I want to go after Glenn, but I'll go this way. Oh, a bottle of water. I'm so thirsty after all of this. Okay. Oh. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do. That I killed a dad. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? Oh, we could have. Think so. Well, you know, pretty fast. you were pretty know, slow at the trigger. We just met, and he was such a... It's just that I think that I liked him. And you let him die. <laughs> well, I'm sure he liked you, too. <laughs> oh, don't tell me that now. You better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait. Whoops. Hmm? What is it? How did you choose... We both needed you. You picked me. Because you had the gun. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. Call me a I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Okay, duck. Don't get wise with Clementine. It's all like Loser. I thought Super Dinosaur was Gonna hit toast. him in the head with my no, axe what? later. He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, duck. Uh, you wanna cool it for a minute? Okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. There's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's I got grabbed again. I was there though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. <laughs> Glenn just took off. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense. 
but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. No. I'll just keep this they one, I guess. the same. Lee, come here for a second. Screw you. Let me go deal with this. Oh, man. Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Yeah, it's too bad I got the vial of nitro that you need. Hey, Lee, <laughs> do you have a second? Uh, no. Your dad tried to kill me. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only uh, one man. What happened? Color change. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor in's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. In a hotel? Or a motel? Oh, well. So much for that plan. Someone didn't pay the electric bill. <laughs> I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! You never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore when everyone thought Kenny's kid was a bit, you went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening. No more, please. No more, please. Please, please. And that's where we're going to end episode one. Or oh, that's it. That's it. End of episode one. Uh, did you like the previews for episode two coming up? So guys, come on back. Please come back and join me for episode two. And they're probably going to be five parts again, I think. Not sure. But we'll see how it plays out. Um, let me know what your comments are, your feelings are. If you have any advice, that'd be fine. I'd be happy to read your comments. Show me some likes. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. My name is Tokyo Blue. You come to Game Station Tokyo. Guys, please do come on back again. We're going to start Season 1, Episode 2, when next you come back of The Walking Dead. Okay, sayonara. Did you find them yet? <laughs> Give me a second.